Hi there, and welcome to something a bit different this time. So far, it's been nothing but Warframe, but this time, I'm playing Red Faction Guerrilla. This is one of my most favorite games ever, because just because of the destruction physics, you can just smash buildings by the supports and have them come down and all kinds of glorious stuff like that. You'll see. So I'm going to start up a new game real soon. Just so you know, this is a permadeath series. So if I die once, it's game over. I'm not going to try and be stupid and run into heaps of enemies and be an idiot and blow myself up. But if I die, it's over. Because I feel like some added challenge. Or normal, of course. Mom, she misses you. Sorry, I missed Dad's funeral. Didn't see her, but hard. No one expected you to come halfway across the system. people die the last time? We're under martial law here. Prison camps, torture, death squads. People need something to believe in. Well, this is it. I've got your gear over there. So here's how it works. It'll be a couple of weeks before you... wait here. Saying. The sooner we get to work, the sooner we get paid. Wow. Here's the site I was telling you about. It was a research outpost once, before the marauders killed the scientists. Marauders? You don't want to be caught out here after dark. But it's a good place to find salvage. I'm here to mine, not hunt for scrap. On Mars, scrap is like gold. Got your sledgehammer and charges? Good. Let's see what you can do. Shit. Up in the sky. EDF gunship. Didn't think they'd be out here today. I'll keep an eye on it. You get the salvage. Yeah, I didn't want to talk because, well... Cutscene might be enjoyable for some of you. Even though... Mm, maybe a bunch of you would like to just skip that part of the video and See not bother with the, the cutscene. Pick it up so we can trade it. Yeah, you'd notice maybe it was a little bit quiet, but um, as you can see, the game volume itself is quite loud, even with it turned down. So the cutscenes just seem to be quiet for some reason. I can't really fix that. I turned them up, and you're just gonna get blasted in game right now, like. That hey, swing was already quite loud. And, take down that and so is the brother talking, Dan. Big structure right there. 
Also, for some reason, the game is registering the um, gamepad. I'm using like the input to skip these tutorials, so if I take a little while to skip a part of it, like one of these tutorials, because I have to reach over and click the mouse button. Stand. What the hell is going on? Who's the girl? You know what's going on. Alec, the Red Faction could really use a guy like you. To do what? What are people doing out here? Whatever it takes. I'm not a terrorist, Dan. You think I am? The EDF are wiping out towns. Alec, we need help. Hey, you got me into enough trouble Earthside. I just want to do honest work here. That's what we're fighting for. If we don't resist, they'll take everything. Enough. You'll see I'm right about this. Yeah, so this is why I really like the game. You can just blow crap up. Wait, that's not destroyed. I haven't taken out all of it. And then sift through the delicious scrap afterwards. Hmm, odd. Not really much of it left. Oh yeah, these things. You'll love it when the enemy goes near them. They're basically volatile fuel containers. Or oh, I thought they were. And that's strange. These ones actually aren't blowing up. Yeah. Normally they... Oh, I get it. This is like an abandoned site where all the fuel has already been drained out ages ago by um someone who's smart enough to, uh, well, suck them dry. The other ones you find, trust me, they explode. And it's a big, nice green explosion. Ah, you need a lost charge. Yes, yeah, you can see with the um, destruction engine, you could um, use these charges and whatnot to crush an enemy under it, which is another reason why I really like the game. And because I recently played this as a test, I also know about things uh, before the tutorial says so, like that run. Defense Force changed the face of Mars. They terraformed so we could breathe the air. They built bases, checkpoints, watchtowers. The Liberators soon became an occupying force. And now they killed my brother. Dan said they'd take everything. For me, they already have. Drop the weapon, now! <laughs> you guys afraid of a hammer? Drop it, smartass. Hey, what right have you got to trash Your my- Your brother is Daniel Mason. Yeah, he was. He's dead. This trailer and its contents have been confiscated by the Earth Defense Force. We're placing you under arrest. For what? Don't play dumb with me, Miner. You're Red Faction. <laughs> Look, I just shipped here from- I guess you work fast. We found these detonators among your possessions. I'm a mining engineer. I have a permit for the- It just got revoked. Shoot him.
Mason, my name is Samania. I worked with your brother. <laughs> Lucky you. I know this is a lot to take in, but you're going to have to trust us. Why? Because you don't really have any other option. The commander thought you should have this field manual. It'll help you survive out here. Welcome to the reason why I skipped that is because that is basically a whole load of tutorials that I don't need because I already know how to play the game. Also, excuse me while I smash the TV. I find them just too annoying. Yeah, so if you're wondering why um Dan did run, it's because, well, basically the EDF, they aren't nice at all. As you've seen, the, that got one EDF trooper gave the order to shoot um, uh, Alec or Alex Mason. He, when he hadn't really done anything wrong, he'd basically just gotten a little angry. He hadn't even attacked him at that point. So on to Mason, the first mission. This is our former base of operations. We had to clear out before the EDF discovered it. Now we just need to cover our tracks. I know you're familiar with demolition, so maybe you can help us out. We need that building destroyed. Blow up anything that the EDF could trace back to us. Think you can handle it? Yeah, so that's the first mission. Pretty okay. simple. We're transmitting the base coordinates now. The commander said. Got it. I'm on my way. Yeah. Go Davies. You go Davies. How'd you get caught up in this? The mining conglomerates found a huge ore deposit beneath our colony and tried to force us off the land. When we resisted, the EDF rolled in. It was a massacre. I'm sorry. I found refugees from other colonies and our numbers grew. Your brother joined us soon after. It was always Dan's problem. Couldn't run from a fight. If there were more like him, we'd have a chance of winning this thing. Maybe. Yeah, sound of just the general sounds a little um high, so I'm gonna turn it down again. Not really sure how I can um not up. How I can actually get it to reasonable numbers. You can see I've got it really, really low and it's still quite loud. Alright, I'm at the base. Good. Use whatever you can to bring her down. We left some fuel tanks behind. You can shoot them or set charges to blow them up. Oh, damn it. Mason, an EDF unit is heading your way. I'd hurry up and finish the job. You said this was gonna be easy. And he's actually right about that. Like, sure, the char main character is kind of, well, doesn't want to get shot and everything, but this is basically the tutorial mission, so it is really easy. See? The roof fell on me and I'm fine. Oh, where's that coming from? Oh, over there. Oh dear. Oh, that almost ended the series right there. Maybe I should have just stopped the charges. Yeah, these are definitely a good idea. Oh, you're still alive? Let me just hit you with the charge a few times. Ah, uh, these kind of EDF cars. Love them. This isn't even the most armored version you can get. Later on, you can get like ones with guns in them and what you see. <laughs> Why are you just standing in the road like that? You know I'm a wanted criminal, and I'm probably not gonna stop. I mean, maybe they didn't know it was me. Maybe they thought like their commander was coming back to base, like, "Ah, oh, command, I see you, splat." 
Yeah, I'm fine, by the way. You've done your brother proud. Yeah, he had the same definition of easy as you. Yeah, that morale bonus you see down there. The um, the more. You're angry, but we don't have the luxury of playing it safe. Your brother understood that. Mason, we need your help. There's new info in your gorilla handbook that will be useful. Yeah, that morale thing, as I was saying, it, it indicates how um, how happy uh, well the the um red faction, uh, basically civilian population is. And they will give you more um, scrap depending on how high their morale is. So what I could do here is potentially just grind killing EDF over and over and over to increase the um, civilian morale. And that way I get way more scrap from missions. But there's enough missions and minor bolts and everything in this game that you don't really need that. Also, you can never really run out of scrap because the EDF will always come by and stuff like these cars. And they will never fully stop spawning as long as there's an EDF controlled area. So you can not only grind the EDF for um, reputation, but you can also grind them for scrap it, um, by just killing their vehicles over and over. And any uh, safe house you go back to can completely restock all your weapons and ammo. So what I'm saying is, if you wanted to, you could play this game like an MMO. Which, I'm not saying all MMOs are boring, but they some of them just are to grind fest that I wouldn't want to touch with a 10 foot pole, if you get my meaning. We received word that a high ranking EDF officer is looking to defect. Sam went out to meet with him. I know she can handle herself, but she shouldn't have gone alone. After what happened at the old base, I'm not taking chances. Get to Sam as soon as you can. When he said old base, the first thing I immediately thought of was some kind of. Sam, you there? What's wrong? Your commander thinks you're walking into a trap. He's just paranoid after what happened to your brother. Wait, I think I heard something. Bloody hell! EDF! Sam, get out of there! Yeah, as I was saying. I can just imagine what happened to the old base for some reason. Involved a microwave, some and some spaghetti. Like it, it, I don't know why I thought of that, but it's, it's funny in my mind. It's like what happened to the old base. It, it wasn't even a um, it wasn't even a uh, what you call it, an EDF attack or anything. Just, just the microwave went completely bonkers. Thanks, I owe you. This is one hell of an operation you guys are running. Jokes or get ready for them. You can't do both. Yeah, what you see in there on the side, that um, number five, that Don't was um. Right under that bridge. They'll definitely search the building they attacked me in. Finish up. The drones will be here. We'll have a better chance against the EDF near the buildings, not out in the open. Yeah, that five you've seen on the side of the screen, the that's like the, um... That's the, uh, um, killing spree thingamajig. That's what I was talking about before. If you, um, like the more EDF you kill in that time, the more the killing spree meter will go up, and then that will increase morale, because it's basically meant to represent all the red faction going like, Alec Mason killed how many EDF in only a few seconds? Holy crap, we can potentially win this war. Like, that's how it's a morale booster. Or at least that's my way of logical explanation rather than just multi kill and double kill. Also, in the um, bottom left, that's your next to your uh, mini map. That orange thing shows, like, how, um,. Shows how much like the um uh, how much your level is. Orange usually means they're gonna send way more stuff at this. So this is the kind of stuff they send on yellow. On orange, oh boy.
Well, since they didn't go across the bridge. Yeah, how you doing, EDF? Have a grenade. I think I heard one of the settlers just say arsenal against these guys. Two down and I didn't die. So far, I'm winning. A lot. Oh, and he's crutch. I didn't mean to be that mean. Yeah, I'd run away at this point as well. Yeah, that guy was a terrible shot. Yeah, so you can see there, 29 bonus scrap because I've done a few killing sprees and as I said, civilian population morale has gone off because they've heard of the, um, well, nice work I made of the EDF. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this time, the first episode. I don't want them to drag on super, super long. Like, I'm pretty sure I've already gone on for, like, about 30 minutes, so that should do it for now. I'd appreciate if you stay tuned for episode 2, because as this game goes on, you just get bigger and bigger weapons and more ways to destroy stuff. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching.